my name is Amy Cosper. I come to you from the raging metropolis of Bellevue, Colorado. I am an entrepreneur expert, a book author, and a writer. And I'm here in Turkey to meet with startups and to learn a little bit more about the ecosystems, which are, are really exploding around Istanbul. And um, you know, I find it particularly interesting because when you look back to history, um, Turkey is very unique um, in the entrepreneur world because it really was one of the first entrepreneurial um, cultures and ecosystems in history um, with trading and just with all of the cool Turkish history. So, and I'm here, I'm speaking also on a panel and um, just to meet people. Well, first of all, the startups are amazing. They are brave. They are global. These aren't just Turkish startups. These are startups from all over the world. And I think the, the thing that I took away the most um, on the first day of the conference is just the wide variety of countries represented and also just the range of startups and niches and the trends. Um, you, you can really pick up on the trends in technology here. And so, and also it's in Istanbul. I mean, what could be better, you know? It's better than being in Detroit. Sure, yeah, I do a lot of work internationally. I mean, the, the United States is a saturated market for startup competitions. And so the more interesting ones are global. And um, the, the one that I work with the most is a, a, an organization out of Copenhagen called the Creative Business Challenge. And it is a celebration of creatives and creative thoughts, thought leaders and, um, you know, just kind of the coolness of creatives. And it is representative of a global footprint. So it's very similar, but it's in a different niche, a different vertical, and that, that's the creatives. And really just the energy of, of these startups and the, the founders and organizers of this event, it is a very unique um, moment in entrepreneurship, you know, in an increasingly divided world. Entrepreneurship, and especially startup Turkey, it, 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 it is a unifying event and it brings people together in a positive way. There's a positive impact. And these startups, they, they are doing not only brave things, but great things. So I, my main criteria is a clarity of vision. And for all startups and for entrepreneurs, the, the most important thing you can do when you're pitching or when you're going out to raise capital, it, it's a clarity of vision. Right, so if you can't tell me what your company does in three sentences or less, you're, it's off, it's over. Like I just need that kind of clarity. But also there is a storytelling aspect um, for the pitches, right? You need to be able to tell your story, a beginning, a middle, and an ending. And you can't rely on spreadsheets. You, as the founder, need to be able to tell your story organically. And so that's just, you know, th those are my two main criteria. So that is a great question, and I get that all the time. Like, so, you know, where are the trends and where is the deal flow? And, you know, what should I do? So here's the thing, right? And, you know, because I talk to entrepreneurs every single day, it doesn't matter what the niche is. It really is about the idea. So you can be in blockchain. You can be in ag tech. You can be in AI. Um, the most important thing is the, you know, the disruptive nature of your thinking and your ideas. So there's not a need, I mean, you know, it would be easy for me to say blockchain is the, you know, big hoo-ha right now, but that's unfair to other people who might be working in more industrial things and more B2B and less of the, you know, kind of the sexy Silicon Valley thing. So I, there, it's a great question, but there is no answer. Again, a great question. I don't have an answer for that, but I can tell you on the first day when we were mentoring some of the startups, there was only one woman on that stage. And I found it offensive and a little bit shocking, but it's not unique. Right? It is not unique, it happens at all the conferences. And I think it's, you know, first of all, women are better entrepreneurs, frankly, and they have a higher success rate scientifically and statistically. Um, so I think it's a matter of going out and you know, having conversations with female founders and you know, women leaders around the world to get more recruits to uh, events like this one. I would absolutely recommend Startup Turkey and again, primarily because this is sort of the center of the, I mean, this is where East meets West. This is where, you know, ideas bubble forth. There's a huge creative movement here. And, um, you know, there's a lot to be gained by investing not only in this conference, but in this region. So my piece of advice, not 
for startup Turkey, but for any entrepreneur who um, is thinking about, you know, applying for a startup competition, fear is your enemy. Fear is your absolute enemy. And if you can get past that, the fear of failure and like freezing up while you're pitching, it, I mean, it's scary to put your stuff out there. Um, once you get past your fear, that's where success is. And so don't be fearful of coming to these events, whether it's Startup Turkey or if it's Creative Business Cup, whatever it is, get your story out there and that's how you get attention.